Mm, here it is given if y of t is a solution of this. So we can write dy by dt minus t by 1 plus t into y. Uh, that is equals to 1 by 1 plus t. So, and it is told that at x equals to 0, no, sorry, at t equals to 0, y will be equal to minus 1. This is given. So we need to find the function uh, y of t. So here, this is a linear differential equation. This is a linear differential equation of the form uh, dy by dt plus py that is equal to q, where here p and q will be functions of t. V and Q are functions of T and the integrating factor will be equal to uh, E power the integrating factor that will be equal to E power integral P dt and the solution will be uh, Y times the integrating factor that is equals to integral Q times the integrating factor times dt so now, therefore, here the function p that is minus t by 1 plus t and the function q that is equals to 1 by 1 plus t. So the integrating factor will be equal to e power integral minus t by 1 plus t dt. So this will be e power minus, I can write, uh, integral 1 minus 1 by 1 plus t. Uh, dt. So this will be e power minus integral dt then times e power integral dt by 1 plus t. So this will be equal to e power integral my e power minus t times e power log base e mod 1 plus t. So this will be equal to e power minus t times this would be 1 plus t, obviously. So this is the required integrating factor. So now the solution, now if we have to find integral q, q is 1 by 1 plus t times integrating factor, that is e power minus t times 1 plus t into dt. So these two will get cancelled. So this will be e power integral e power minus t dt. So this will be e power minus t by minus 1. Okay, plus c. So this is minus e power minus t plus c. So therefore, the required solution, the general solution will be uh, y into e power minus t into 1 plus t that is equals to minus e power minus t plus c. So this can be written as y into 1 plus t that is equals to uh, minus 1 plus c e power t. Okay. So this can be also written as c e power t minus 1 divided by 1 plus t. So this is y of t actually. So this is actually y of t that we can write. y of t is this. So now therefore we have to find y of 1. So if we put t equals to 1 here, then we will get c e minus 1 by 2. Okay, so we need to find out C, how to find out. So here it is given, it is given that at T equals to zero, Y equals to minus one. Equals to zero, Y equals to minus one. So therefore, if we put that, then we will get um, Y of, we got that Y of T equals to C E power T minus one by T plus one. This we got. So therefore, y of zero. So y of zero that is equals to c e power zero minus one by zero plus one. So and that is equals to minus one. So I can say c minus one that is equals to minus one. So c will be equal to zero. So therefore. 
y of t that is simply equal to minus 1 by 1 plus t. So therefore, y of 1 has been asked. y of 1 has been asked. So that will be minus 1 by 1 plus 1. So that will be equal to minus half. Hence, proved. Thank you.